Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol. And did you think that Sonic the Hedgehog was just a, a fun little game where you ran around as a blue hedgehog at the speed of sound, tried to beat an evil doctor that makes robots? Well, you're wrong. It's clearly an allegory for the LGBT movement. I mean, think about it. Sonic, clearly gay. He's running around with tails all the time. Shadow the Hedgehog, Obviously, he's polyamorous, but also asexual. I mean, he has both Amy and Maria, but he only loves them as individuals and not sexually. Tails, clearly Tails is trans soul. I mean, he feels like he has two souls. He's in the middle of transitioning. That's why he got a surgery to have two tails. Knuckles, uh, he's just a, a meathead feminist. What? Just because I'm a meathead doesn't mean I'm not a feminist. Yes, clearly this is all ridiculous. None of that makes any sense. It's just dumb and... But it is something you could see an argument of people trying to make. Or at least I can, especially because I ran across this photo right here. Mario came out so long ago, most people forgot. New York City middle school teacher tells students Yoshi is trans and Peach is a cis lesbian as she gives Nintendo characters sexual gender identities. Now, I immediately assumed this was real. Because, you know, why wouldn't you in today's society and climate? But I did my due diligence, I had to fact check, because I mean, Mario, gay, Peach, a cis lesbian, which by the way doesn't make sense, I thought cis meant normal and you know, like, like straight and whatnot, so how can you be a cis lesbian? But whatever, people maybe in the comments can explain that to me. Toad is a pre-transition trans girl, uh, obviously this is the teacher here, if you really want to call her that. <laughs> uh, Yoshi is trans, which to me is, is baffling, if any of them were trans it'd actually be Birdo, but... <laughs> Luigi, demisexual, I don't even know what that is, and uh, Daisy is bisexual polyamorous, um, which is incredibly strange because how, how can you be polyamorous when we've never even seen you have one partner in the game? So, I mean, a lot of people like to link Daisy and uh, Luigi, but they've never actually had any sort of canon love. Point is, this is real. Th this is a real thing that happened. Let's go through the article. Mario came out so long ago, most people forgot. New York City middle school teacher tells students Yoshi is trans and Peach is a cis lesbian as she gives Nintendo characters sexual gender identities. Middle school teacher gives presentation to students exploring and sexual gender identities of Nintendo characters. Remy Elliott reshared the presentation to her TikTok account. She claims the princess Daisy is hella bisexual while Luigi is a demisexual dude. Oh boy, this is where we're at. If, if you don't think that teachers trying to indoctrinate your kids is real stuff like this is happening all the time now look i'm not trying to fear monger this, this isn't all teachers this isn't all schools however it is a real thing so you gotta acknowledge that it's a real thing this, this isn't healthy i, I mean I, I support lgbt stuff as much as the next person but freaking you know in, in, within a reason when you're indoctrinating students in schools using very popular video game characters that are part of the cultural zeitgeist at this point while just ma blatantly making up these you know undertones and allegorical references that's that's not teaching that is cult like behavior a middle school teacher told her students Nintendo characters have different sexual and gender identities as she claimed Mario is gay while Princess Peach is a massive lesbian. Remy Elliott, who is employed by the New York... No, no doubt that this is not Mrs. Elliott. Uh, I, I'm not even cool enough to be a Missy Elliott. Anyway, Remy Elliott, who is employed by the New York City Department of Education, made the comments of, in a presentation to students during a gay-straight alliance after a school, school club meeting. In a video uploaded to her TikTok account, she reshared the PowerPoint, alleging Princess Daisy is hella bisexual, polyamorous, while Luigi is a demisexual dude. Elliot, who has over 81,000 followers and identifies as bisexual, has since deleted the videos and made her profile private. Yes, I was going to, uh, you know, share this this great, great TikTok for you, with you, and uh, maybe if I can find it on the Wayback Machine or something, I still will. But unfortunately, as it currently stands, uh, yeah, no, no, no sharing of this. She is certified under the name Jeremy William Elliot and currently teaches ninth grade at the DOE, though previously taught younger grades. Fox News reports. And yeah, this is a. Nice, nice good look of the, the teacher, you know, year of the queer. I, I, I really hope they're not wearing that in school. I also wouldn't want a teacher year in a decades of the straight, you know, shirt or anything. That's, that, that sort of thing just shouldn't be worn by any professional in education at, at school. Do what you want in your own time, by all minds. And, and maybe they are. This is clearly them in their house, or at least it seems like it. I'm just throwing that out there. Here we have a, a nice clip of the PowerPoint. Toad, pre-transition girl, already has a whole new wardrobe of which... The uh, highs and skirts for when she comes out, head pants, I, I, I don't, again, the quality isn't that great, sorry. So the GSA for the school that I teach at decided to do a PowerPoint night, and I decided to combine two of my favorite interests into one, she said in the original clips. 
This is dubiously assigning genders and sexualities to classic Nintendo characters. What are you teaching out of curiosity? Like, like if you're a teacher, what, what are you teaching? Just so you know, it goes on to say that she was an English teacher. Um, how does this help with that? Like, like, what is the actual lesson trying to even be taught with this? Aside from something that, you know, could be shock value for your TikTok to get you followers. And maybe just own the conservatives or whatever. Yoshi is a trans man. He's just living his best life with Birdo. Birdo. Didn't even spell it right. I, look, I don't know if this is the, the, the individual or the outlet, so you know what? I'm gonna reserve judgment in that regard, but it's B-I-R-D-O. And his top surgery turned out amazing. R right, because uh, I, I've been all over the Mushroom Kingdom. Believe it or not, I've played many a Mario game. In fact, I think i played every mainline Mario game. I have traveled all over the Mushroom Kingdom. Not once have I seen a hospital. Now, you could argue that maybe Dr. Mario did the surgery himself, but somehow I doubt that. No scars whatsoever. We love that for him. That's right, because if you get top surgery and you have scars, you're ugly. Of course, that means that Birdo is an ace trans girl. Even if it meant that Birdo was, was a trans girl, where do you get ace from that? How do you know? Uh, wouldn't all these characters be ace because we've never seen them in any sort of sexual situations? I just, this is so confusing. Top surgery is the removal of breast tissue as a woman transitions into a man. She continues on to call Princess Peach a massive cis lesbian with an attraction to Princess Daisy. <sighs> Again, how are you a cis lesbian? That that one just doesn't make sense to me on account of I thought cis was just a, a, a lamer word for straight. Meanwhile, Daisy is described as hella bisexual, polyamorous, and she will ask you out. She will ask out right in front of you? Elliot continues, Mario came out so long ago most people forgot and he probably marched at Stonewall and he low-key says some transphobic stuff but he means well. I, I, I do recall being in some, you know, transgender community subreddits and being told, that's so cool, was in fact transphobic. And, and, and don't even get me started on, on the transphobia of, it's a me! She adds, next up is Luigi. Luigi is a totally a demisexual dude, but he just calls himself queer because it's like too confusing. Uh, let me tell you, this whole thing you're doing here is a bit confusing. Uh, uh, yes, you're right. Demisexual is confusing. I'll give you that. But so is all the rest of it. So maybe we could just have not done this and then life would have been grand. He has a big bi- he has big bi wife energy. Hello. Hey, you dumb bitch. I got a question for you. You're bi, right? Yeah. And, and, and polyamorous? Yeah. What the fuck is big bi wife energy? Um, I guess whenever a woman who's married to a man is also very open about the fact that she also likes pussy, I don't know. Okay, so basically, the, the, the term big bi wife energy is also confusing to you. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Alright, here we have a collection of the characters Mario, Daisy, Luigi, Peach. Trans? Trans. And it's probably bisexual, but like, doesn't think about it too much because if you don't think about it, it's not a problem. Ah, uh, yes, that is how I go about living all of my lives. Uh, don't, don't pay no attention to the stack of bills piling up. Demisexuality refers to people who only feel sexual attraction to another person if they form a strong emotional bond or connection with them first. Uh huh. All right, I got nothing. I I I, I want to come up with some sort of snappy joke, but yep, got nothing. She goes on to call Toad a pre-transition trans girl. She already has a whole new wardrobe with thigh highs and skirts for when she comes out. Elliot says in the clip. In other clips, the teacher revealed she had spoken to her school's assistant principal about how to tell her class she is polyamorous. And here's the part we truly need to worry about. Up until here, it's been all fun and games. Whatever, this dumb teacher is calling Nintendo characters gay and whatnot. I'm not a big fan of the sort of indoctrination of children, especially using famous, you know, child-friendly video game characters. But now she's speaking to the administration about how to tell her class she's polyamorous. And the administration is willing to hear this rather than just telling her, shut the hell up and teach kids about past participles. Polyamory refers to people who engage in multiple romantic or sexual relationships. In one video seen by Fox News, she says she prides herself on being a teacher who is very open about her life. Well, stop it. I don't want you being any more open about your life than I want, you know, my, my, my very much straight white male gym coach being open about his life. 
I want him to teach me how to not get creamed at dodgeball, which they don't even play in schools anymore because kids are pussies nowadays, but that's neither here nor there. I want him to teach me how to not get creamed at dodgeball and then just shut up. It's that simple. One of the things I'm very open about is my sexuality, Elliot explained. I have a trans flag, a bisexual flag, a non-binary flag, all on my desk at work. But there's one thing I'm not open about, and it's being polyamorous. Why? <laughs> why are you not open? You're open about all the rest of this stuff. Why not that? Look, I don't think any of these sort of flags should be on a teacher's desk at school. And if there was a straight pride flag, I wouldn't want that on a desk at school. That's not the point of school, guys. It's that simple. Like, I, I get it. You want to be tolerant. You want to be accepting. Definitely do that in your own time, out in the real world, school is not the time for that stuff. School is the time for learning. And given the intelligence I've seen from the current TikTok generation, I don't think y'all are doing a good enough job of it. Dispense with the flags and maybe go back to English lessons so they know that the word is ask, not ax. I don't know how to handle that conversation because while I know that the kids are more accepting of things like homosexuality, bisexuality, all that, polyamory is not in the conversation. She added she didn't like feeling as though she was lying to her students. Right, not, not, not telling your students every facet of your after-school personal life is absolutely lying to them. Look, I grew up in a much simpler time, the 1990s, mid-2000s, things like that, and I, I very much do not remember my you know, teachers telling me anything about their personal lives. My second grade teacher, the only reason I knew she was married is because her name was Mrs. Khan. I would know she was unmarried if it was Miss Khan, but that's the extent of it. After speaking with her administration, she agreed it would be appropriate for Elliot to speak to her students about her relationships. And here's the thing. She spoke to the administration, and they agreed. They're like, yeah, go ahead. Tell your students all about polyamory. Why? Why is the administration doing this? Why is the administration allowing this? Th this school is far beyond just one insane teacher. First of all, there are many, many insane in the membrane teachers out there right now, and I have a lot of fun covering them. There's also plenty of other channels out there on YouTube that cover them. Take a look. It is bananas, but it goes beyond teachers. The higher up, the administrators, the people that come in wearing the fancy suit and tie and make the big bucks to make sure the school goes round and actually works properly, they're okaying this. I've never exactly been an advocate for homeschooling uh, because I believe that kids need the social interaction that comes with some sort of public school, but by God, if this is not making a good argument for homeschool. She went on to lash out at conservatives who were not having such open discussions with their children. Well, let me stop you right there, because I, for one, am absolutely no conservative. Like I said, I'm a pretty hard-line, down-the-middle type of individual, and I still think this is not a discussion you should be having with children, at least beyond you know, prior to a certain age. So it's not just a conservative thing. You're just insane. She said, this is not a conversation that conservatives are having at all. They've decided, like, you can't do this at all, there's no place for it. Yeah, we didn't just lump everyone together in one group, kind of like you claim that conservatives do to you. But yeah, I, 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 there's no hypocrisy there. There's no pot calling no kettles black. When contacted about the Nintendo publication, Elliot told Fox News Digital that the slides you mentioned were created in jest for the sake of humor. The prerequisite for something to be a joke, to be funny. So there needs to be a punchline. There was nothing funny about this. There was something strange, weird, maybe some sort of anti-humor. Maybe, you know, there's some sort of non-sequitur. Uh, but no. No, the, 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 there is no humor here. You very clearly meant this, or at least we're using it as some sort of indoctrinating teaching tool, and now that you're being called out and lambasted online and deleting TikToks and privating accounts, you're just falling back on, no, it, it was a joke, I did it for fun, as a way to save face. That, that's what it is, she added. It's also strange to point out that they have genders and sexualities, as being a cisgender heterosexual man is in fact a gender and a sexual orientation. Yeah, it is, I don't get the point saying that like you're, you're right but no one playing mario collecting coins saving the princess and stomping on mushroom goombas gives a damn about that they just want to collect the coins jump on the mushrooms and save the princess it's it's really that simple as part of the doe employment despite being primarily hired as an english teacher yep there it is told you guys yeah english teacher teaching our established and vetted sex education curriculum was not only something i was hired for but it was something i was trained and qualified in now, I want to see this documentation. I want to see the proof of this because, A, she's telling the truth, and the administration is straight up saying, you're an English teacher, but feel free to talk about all the sexual stuff you want. That's good and healthy, which I can completely believe the administration is doing considering they're telling her to talk about her polyamory and open up and stuff like that. Or, B, she's lying and she's just doing this stuff anyway because she knows the school board won't push back because then she can, you know, sue for... Uh, discrimination or whatever since she's all these protected classes. Frankly, I'm actually more inclined to believe the first one than when she went in for her interview to be a teacher, the school board strip said, eh, by all means, talk about video game willies. 
She added that she only ever spoke of her personal life within reasonable limits. Somehow I doubt that your version of reasonable limits and the reasonable person version of reasonable limits are not aligned with one another. Dailymail.com reached out to Elliot and the New York Department of Education for comment. So, yeah, while my strange little Sonic thing earlier, that, that was a joke because it led in to this actual story we have here. The initial version of this, though, not a joke, just pure insanity. Look, like I said, this is not every school, every public school, every teacher. However, cases like this have been on an alarming rise ever since we've come back from you know being locked down and schools have gone back to more or less being normal. And this has to stop. This is insane. This needs called out. You don't need to sit there and worry about being called a transphobe or a bigot or whatnot. These are our kids we're talking about. Look, you shouldn't want your kids sitting in a classroom with a PowerPoint where they're talking about whether or not Mario is a homosexual. You need to be focusing on making sure that your kid is in school learning how to use a damn comma correctly, if at all, because writing on Twitter and Facebook is getting atrocious, and I don't even want to think about the future of books, if those even continue to be a thing, if kids don't know how to use commas. But no, 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 instead we're you know, talking about how Peach is a cis lesbian. Look, I think I made my point. This is getting out of hand. You need to do what you can to stop it. I'm going to continue doing what I can, which is just make dumb videos on the internet to hopefully try and get this message across. To help me get this message across, you should really subscribe to the channel. That way, you know, it helps the algorithm gets it in more people's homes. So please do subscribe. Check out the back catalog. I am a nerdy news channel and uh, that covers the other things with a political edge. I feel like this kind of married the two in a perfect union. Nerdy political news talking about the LGBT agendas of Mario. I couldn't ask for something better than that. So yes, please do subscribe. Check out the back catalog because it's all here in the Nerdosphere, and this has been Words of Paradise.